gymnastics too. And this week, Romaine and I are going to be showing you guys our gymnastic room tours. Romaine and I kind of have the same thing going on where the floor of our house, I think both of us, it's the highest floor of our house, is like a gymnastics floor, which is fabulous and we love it so much. And we are so grateful and it just makes us so happy because we can practice like our back hip circles on bar and like our cartwheels on beam and stuff like that at home, which is just like, ah. So basically, we're going to be showing you that. And one more thing, I did a gymnastics room tour right here. You will be able to click on it if you want. It was awful. I, it was like my first, like second video on this third, maybe, I don't know first, second, or third video on this channel. And it was nighttime, so it was kind of dark, and I was using my computer, and it was really bad quality, but it got to like 5,000 views, over 5,000 views, and over 50 likes, which was like insane, but really embarrassing, because it was a really bad video. So I can't stress how much this video is gonna be so much better. Even though the lighting is still not great, it's much better. Raven. Anyways, let's try and get this video to over 50 likes and over 5,000 views because I'm being cheeky and greedy. So let's get started. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Guys, the first thing I'm going to show you right now is my bar and I'm going to give a huge shout out to Tumble Track in this video because most of my equipment is from here and if something's not I will point it out to you but I will give you like the name and everything of the equipment. So here's my bar. It is from Tumble Track as I've just stated. It is the Junior Bar Pro Package 1. So basically it is this blue bar. They can go from around three feet to five feet. This isn't the highest setting it is at. It's like at a medium setting. But basically, it can go really high where you can train like kips and stuff. Right now, I have one of the mats that I use underneath it. This one came with it, so I kind of just keep it under there. Um, it is the uh, just part of the package one from Tumble Track, as you can see here. Saying hello to my feet. And it is super, super great because it does not hurt if you fall on it because it's super squishy and it matches this bar perfectly. And this bar is super sturdy because of the really sturdy base and it has a really easy kind of connection system where you just kind of unscrew it and re-screw it into the thing. And you guys might be wondering one more thing. Um, why the heck do I have this red thing just on my bar? It is a cast trainer, which is like soft, same material as this. And basically what it is, is it stops your hips from being hurt on the bar if you're doing a new skill that involves any casting. Because this is a wooden bar. Like, my chalk stains. This is a wooden bar. So if you do accidentally cast too hard into it, ow, it hurts. So I use this if I need it, and it also just kind of Velcro's off. Next up is this little thing on the floor. It is behind my bar, and it is this little chalk bucket full of powdered chalk. My chalk box are downstairs in my room, but yeah, and it's just on this little blue raised surface. So if you're going on bar, you can just chalk yourself up. And there you go. So you guys, this is the next thing that you will not have seen in the intro looking like this. This is my Brianna Beam from Tumble Track. It is right now 12 inches, but really quick, I just want to point this out before I do anything. This is additional. I bought this separate, this huge little, um, you know, block that velcros onto the initial height, which Romaine has. So. Romaine has this kind of beam, but without the extensions, which are on either end, raising it to a total of six, uh, 12 inches. Anyway, more on the beam. This beam is eight feet long, and it is so great. It's great for practicing like car wheels and stuff. It is a suede material, and it's really soft and squishy if you like fall on it, which I do kind of a lot, because I try insane skills. 
Anyway, it is a standard uh, four, four inches wide. I almost said four foot wide. That would be insane. This is four inches wide, and it's just the standard size beam and all, and it's just kind of cute, the little blingies. And underneath that, I have the tumble track um, tumbling mat, which is four foot by eight foot long. So, yeah. I'm starting to think it's, oh no, it's not. It's just this bit's kind of hanging off. But yeah, it's eight foot long. It's super squishy. It's two inches thick. So I put this under my beam most of the time, but you didn't see under the beam when we did the overview because it was in that corner with the rest of the stuff, which I'm not going to let you guys see so much right now. But yeah, it's great because it's like the beam fits in the middle perfectly, and if you fall, you just fall on this and stuff. And that brings me on to another mat, which is right here. It is the teddy bear mat. Uh, I think it's the baby bear mat. <laughs> It is, I use it as like a landing mat, as you can see from my beam, because when I do like a round off, off, kind of want a squishy surface to land on. And underneath this, I put my blue Reebok mat, yoga mat, folded up. And when you land on this, you can already see from me walking on it, it is so squishy, you guys, so soft, and it's really soft material too, actually. So if you do like a round off or front handspring off this, I don't think you'll be doing many front handsprings because it's quite short. It's just so simple to land on. So nice, I want to just lie here forever. So that's my beam, the first beam. Guys, this is my new beam. I got it recently with this mat. And it is officially actually from Tumble Track 2. It is only like that much off the ground. So it's a low beam for practicing skills you don't have. It is again four inches wide and eight feet long. But here's where the interesting part comes in. I bought two of these beams because they're usually only half the length, as you can see, like a divider here. And it would be a four foot wide beam, a four foot wide, four foot long beam. And I connected the two to make a longer beam, just because it's easier. You can buy another one as well. As you can see this little Velcro strap here. Anyway, this is just a cool beam because it's kind of soft as well. This beam is really soft. So I can practice like back walkovers on the beam. And again, it's just on the normal mat with the teddy bear mat at the end. I quickly have gone to the gym room, as you can see. And I just wanted to point out, it's so echoey in here. Oh, purple ceiling. I just wanted to point out that I kind of made this little Reebok yoga mat into a beam mat that was off center in my desperate attempts to learn a cartwheel on the beam. So I use masking tape on this and it works. It's exactly the same as the beam. I just do skills on it that I don't have on the beam yet. It is where I film most of my videos, if you may recognize it. But wait, it's not a gymnastics area. Where does this table come from? You guys, I moved the table and the chair away and all these little chairs away so that I can film in this area because it's huge and it's just better that way. It's a little kitchen right here where I can get some water in mugs when I'm thirsty. Put all my floor stuff down. Uh, I'm gonna start explaining which each one is. First of all, here's my mini trampoline from I don't really know where. It's just really, you know, bouncy and great for like skills that you don't have. Hi me. And I do this, I don't bounce onto here, no. I do it onto the red mat from the bar. I take it out. If I want to practice any skills or if I just want to do jumps, I'll just do it here. Which leads me on to my next floor mat. Ooh, that noise. It's um, the teddy bear mat from the beam again. Oh, hi, Shadow. Um, it's the teddy bear mat that you've seen on the beam. It's just moved to the floor area so I can do like landings on it. I usually move it to there from do landings. Next is my block that you might see right here. It's not a block and some of you guys may recognize it. It is, you guys, a cheese mat. So it's from Tumble Track. It is actually kind of small. I didn't get the big one, because, you know, money. But this is like a really good cheese mat. So I use it for bridge kickovers when I was learning that. Uh, these are just the pastel color. I got the second smallest one available. And it's just great. You'll see this in a lot of my old videos, you know. So that's what it looks like. It's really great, you guys. Goodbye. The next thing is new, you guys, and you guys have seen this a lot recently. 
my tumble track tumbling mat, four foot by eight foot. And I have to say something really quick that's really sad. My, I mean, tumble track accidentally only sent me one because I live so far away. And they are actually sending me another one identical to this, but it didn't arrive in time for you guys. So you only have this one right here. Mm, but it's really, I don't know what that was. I had like this catch in my throat and I didn't want to say anything because it would sound really weird. Anyway, this is like a really great mat. It's two inches thick, as you can see. Each panel is two inches thick. It's got four panels, and the colors are kind of just adorable. It's really soft and great for skills. And look what else it does. <laughs> this is what it will do. It can fold up, as you guys know. So I do kind of like over split sometimes on this, even though I suck at over splits. Because I'm not flexible. And oh it's like me trying to do this one-handed oh. whoa whoa okay so when it's folded up like this little thing right there it is i think two four six eight yes i don't know why that took me so long to calculate eight inches thick right now very squishy on the top but it's great for like over splits or like spotting block or whatever or doing something like off something and even if you only fold up two of these it creates like a little downhill slope a lot like less steep than the cheese mat but still a slope you guys so this is used for like everything sometimes I put it under the bar I take it outside sometimes it goes under my beams and it is also a floor skill mat thing so this is like the everything mat it's so important to me Anyways, that was the end of this video. I really hope this video was like good for you guys to see that I am and can film a good room tour with good lighting, clear uh, quality of video, and clear sound, and have my equipment all shown unlike last time where I only showed my bar and the cheese mat. I don't even know how my bean video got deleted, but it did. Anyways, again, that was the end of this video. So, I had fun filming this because I got to see all my equipment and see how cool it was again. It's like the day that it came all over again. I like showing it to you guys. And I really hope this was enjoyable for you. Now, Romaine's also done her gymnastics room tour. So make sure that you go check hers out too on our channel. I don't have a thing because this will be uploaded at the same time as hers. Same time. Same time hers is uploaded. And like I said before, way, way back to the beginning of the video. It got to like 5,000 views, over 5,000 views, and over 50 likes. Let's try and get this video to over 50 likes and over 5,000 views because I'm being cheeky and greedy. So yeah, I really hope that we can do this achievement because that would mean a lot to me. Hint, hint, please like this video. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, I said that twice now because I really want a thumbs up. <laughs> Anyways, and comment down below your suggestions, questions, and comments. Also, I know that we always go on about our Instagram account, which you should follow, but I kind of revamped our Gmail account today, and I think we can start using it. So if you have anything else that you guys want to say to us, you can check that out. The link should be down below for our Gmail account. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! He loves y'all. He really does. That's why he's kind of rammed his face against the wall. Oh, he's never, oh, he did not like the smell of my finger. Did you see that face he pulled? Give it to me, I'm worth it.